Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're rolling through these Afterbirth Plus challenges, sort of. <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't really know what to say about the uh, April's Fool challenge. It is, uh, it was a little weird, but we got through it. We got uh, Pokemans 3003, which is the year that I'm living in right now. That's right. 986 years from this point onwards. Are you impressed with my subtractive skills? <laughs> Four years at a public university. Uh, let's go. We, uh... Are going to the cathedral on this one. I don't think that... I don't remember Pokemans being a tough challenge. But I also, like, it's six or seven months ago at this point. But I sort of feel like it was one that I had to do twice for some reason. I might be misremembering, to be fair. Uh, it also strikes me as the kind of challenge where... I wouldn't be surprised to see that we uh, don't have item rooms because we are starting with two items, one of which is, is actually quite good in the form of... Uh... Wait, no, I've got the... Dude, I swear to... It's Mom's Perfume that gives you the tier delay downgrade. I'm going through like weird... That is a huge enemy. Like Antero grade amnesia or something uh, with Isaac where like... One day, there's just so many items in the game that I, like, don't understand what they are. For, like, four videos, I was like, why isn't this a tier to lay down grade whenever I got Mom's uh, eyeshadow? And now I'm like, okay, right, that's, it's Mom's perfume. Perfume is not eyeshadow. That explains why I've given myself permanent cornea damage. I don't know, I don't wear eyeshadow either. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, we should try to capture an enemy, but... I actually, I think the Pokeball is kind of like a, a wasted item. It's a, it's a really cool concept, but it just never really executes as well as, uh, as well as you'd think it could, given the circumstances. Like, it kind of reminds me of the D10, where, like, not being able to reroll bosses makes it a little useless. Not being able to capture bosses sort of screws with, the uh, Poke Go a little bit, but there are, or, or the Pokeball, I should say, because Poke Go is actually fine, but... There are some enemies that are top tier, and there are some enemies that are not very good at all. I almost feel like this should get like a two room charge or something like that, just to make it more usable, but... Either way, we're starting in an okay situation. Little Horn was the best item we got on that floor, and, and the best item we've got on this whole run, without a doubt. You just want enemies that are not gonna die immediately. Like, we want tanky enemies. Don't kill the ones you... Ah, the ones you charm. You gotta charm them first, let them kill like all the other enemies. Problem solved. But yeah, I mean, it would be really nice to, to sight read all the chat. Well, I guess it's not really sight reading considering we've done them once before, but to, to do all the challenges in Afterbirth Plus on, on our first go, because I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We haven't actually even gotten... Oh, it doesn't break rocks? I thought the science tiers broke everything but maybe they only break everything if they uh, if they hit an enemy in the meantime or I mean, it doesn't really matter um, what uh what I mean is we're almost done with the challenges here although we still have several that we failed and a few that we haven't even unlocked yet we're almost to the point where we can at least start to you know begin the quest for a million and one percent uh, inauspiciously if you will I would like to get uh, an extra nickel by blowing that guy up. I would have loved to have bought a spirit heart, to be honest with you, because really, this this strikes me as one of those challenges where the, the actual gimmick is kind of nonsense. Uh, really, our ability to succeed or fail here is likely going to come down to whether or not we're able to uh, get a good run. What? It went over the enemies? Or wait, did... Hello? Is this our starter Pokemon? Because <laughs> if so, dude, this is a pretty good start. We got enemies leaving creep everywhere. Uh, you guys just... Oh, you're not moving because you have no aggro. That actually makes sense. Uh, this is actually, like, pretty good. I didn't know if the first time you used it, you got something. Unless I actually captured something last time and just didn't know, but I don't think that I did. Oh, good. I blew up all of my uh, Poke Go buddies here. Low odds 
Let's try to capture one of these. It bounced off the wall. Wait a minute. No, I've got it totally backwards. We actually just get a random one every time we use this. We're not meant to capture enemies. We kind of got, like, fake uh, Poke Go right now. Which I'm okay with, because getting random enemies is definitely going to be more valuable. This isn't how the Pokeball works most of the Monster Ball works most of the time, is it? I thought for sure... I have memories that I don't believe have been planted there. Um, of, of capturing enemies that are, like, ideal, and then sadly many more that were suboptimal using the Monster Ball, but... Just be smart here. We're actually, like, now in a, in a very, very good position. We've got an okay uh, Pokemon along with it, although he is now dead. Just don't get hit towards the end of this, and we are sitting pretty. Okay. Joker card? Not Joker card. Emperor card. Not bad. Ooh. Um, it's a little rough, but let's... I'm going to take Little Brim, because it's the best item in here. So what I'm going to try to do as well is, uh, sure, get you to pay out with something. You paid out with something. It was not particularly good. I cannot justify going to the curse room yet, but I can justify going to the boss trap room. And if we get nothing useful, we could fight it or we could teleport out. Actually, we could go to the curse room and teleport out as well, which might be uh, advisable. Decent get, I think. I'm also kind of uh, holding out hope that maybe we can get to 15 cents. I don't think it would be that useful to buy uh, the, the 9 volt, but there's a lot of items that it could be quite good for. So watch out, we got pin here. Should be very easy, especially with the, you know, the brimstone shots that we got going on here. Just Easiest money ever made. I think we should go for the curse room in an attempt to kind of save ourselves here. And we got two spirit hearts. So now I'm going to save. It's a little complicated. I'm going to save this. We'll get the heck out of here. And we'll try to find... Another penny. We do have a bomb. I, I think we might be able to... Oh, there we go. We might be able to blow up the uh, greed statue in here as well. But we've actually sort of made this work. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Full stop. Grab 9 volt. We can have more than one Pokemon at the same time, I think. So we might as well start tossing these around. I think we got a good foundation for ourselves here. We're a little bit behind schedule. I'd rather save the Emperor card for the chance of getting through Boss Rush, but I gotta be honest, the run has actually made me a believer. Uh, now that I, I've seen the uh, actual effects of the Monster Ball in this situation, like, I'm a, I'm a happy boy. That being said, I know I said I'd rather save the Emperor card for... Uh, for uh, Boss Rush. Now I'm like, nah. Come in here, see what you get. Grab all this, teleport out. Not at all concerned with the deal with the devil here. In fact, I might better not have a deal with the devil just because of the amount of risk it puts on me from an HP perspective, but... I actually think that the Ghost Brimstone is, like, one of the best payouts we could possibly have. It's not very likely that it... Oh, thank you. It's not very likely that it actually hits anything, unfortunately, but it is, uh... It is doing a number when it does hit something. So we want to continue exploring because there is a, um... There's a huge incentive for us to get spirit hearts, and we did just get one here. Trying to check for, like, secret room, but also blow this guy up, and... We got steam sale and secret room, which is great. Go for broke here. Uh, hey, Alex, I appreciate that you're playing uh, F1 2017, but maybe you could 
not sign- that's kind of unreasonable. Hey, could you stop signing in to play video games in your off hours? Like, it's a little unreasonable. Now we can buy a two cent, uh, playing card in there, which, you know, could be a deal with the devil in and of itself. I actually feel like the 9 volt and, um, I don't even know what this is called, like the, the, the bobby pin or something. It's, it's a great choice for us, uh, because we're just getting, like, mass monster ball spam. And without being forced to, like, find enemies myself, I think this is pretty good. Now, it is also completely mind-flooding me. Like, I can't pay attention at all to what enemies are mine and which enemies are the, the games, but... It's working! I can't deny that it's working. Not to mention, uh, I hope you st we still got one there, but... We still get a charge, like, anytime any of our familiars die, so... We are kind of approaching absurdity here. I can't believe I went through, like, the first two floors without using it at all. That was a bit of a, a silly choice in hindsight. Um, okay, plenty of money. Luck up, luck up, luck up, no luck up. Not an ideal enemy. Who is now a friend. You know what they say, though? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And the enema of my enema goes in my end. Sure. Let's buy Trinket Smelter. Trinket Smelter. I need your strongest trinkets. And then this as well. Ace of Clubs. Basically, we traded High Priestess for a bomb. Not a good trade, but not a terrible trade. Uh, we had another trinket back there, but it wasn't that strong, if I remember correctly. It wasn't one of the big, like, five trinkets, so we'll ignore it. And hopefully we'll have a chance to get a better one later. We basically paid seven cents for Mom's Purse, which is actually a good deal. I think we might have just lost half of our uh, Poke Go friends there. We still got Brimstone uh, Angel Fetus, though. Picked up another Spirit Heart. It's actually like low key, high key. I don't know which kind of key it is. I was never that good at music uh, as a kid, but. Well, I mean, if you've heard me sing, that's not going to surprise you too much. Uh, one of the strongest runs we've had on challenges. And that's kind of cool, because I, I went into this one being a little skeptical, being like, oh, this is one of the ones you just sort of, you know, you probably win fairly easily, and then you, you move on. Um, and that looks like it might be the case here, but we also have, like, one of the more unique and engaging sort of challenges that we've, that we've seen. Not quite as transformative as... Uh, April's Fool, where, you know, every single enemy is bloat, and also all the items lie to you. But more than just a, a cheap gimmick here, I think. It's kind of a fun challenge. After this, by, I'm, I'm taking my sweet time on this challenge, because uh, I know that the next one is ultra hard. And ultra hard is probably... I mean, I, I don't... I'm old enough to not make salty tweets most of the time. I understand my role as, uh, as an entertainer, and uh, for the most part, any concerns of my life are relatively petty. So, I actually thought you were my friend now. Um, are relatively petty, so I don't tweet video game related salt very often. Uh, I remember tweeting some salt about the Ultra Hard Challenge, which tells me everything I need to remember. You're my friend? Who is my enemy then? Nobody. The doors are open. Okay. Tells me everything I need to know about the Ultra Hard Challenge. I remember I tweeted about the Speed Challenge as well. There was a little bit of salt built in. Dude, the Brimstone Ghost never disappears. It's beautiful. Should have a good chance at a deal with the Devil here. The little Brim pickup, you know, continues to essentially be a, a very, very smart get. And this could be ideal. It didn't give me uh, really much of anything. But uh, the Spirit Art is nice, and if we'd gotten a... Uh, a guppy item out of it, I would have been happier. But mostly, like, we just don't have much HP, so... That guy's probably dusted. We don't have much HP, so to... Garner anything for free is, is pretty positive. Uh, although we just lost our HP to begin with. For no reason. Uh, I guess stationary enemies all spawn on top of one another, which is... Fine by me, as long as they don't hurt each other. 
Because, like, we're all supposed to be friends here. For now, at least. We'll go back to hating each other eventually, but... We, we, we owe it to ourselves to unite for this run. We did... You know, let's blow you up. I, I'm just wary about it because I don't want to blow up my own uh, Pokemon in the meantime. We managed to succeed at that. Got an extra 8% chance of a deal with the devil. You know what they say, though. 8%, great percent. 100%, no thank you. It's not supposed to rhyme. It's just supposed... See, I'm... It's not really... Hey, 8% is the difference between getting a 42 and a 50. With 50, of course, being a, a pass in Canada. I don't... Have I, have I gone on my academic rant yet? About... I, I get annoyed because... I told everybody on Twitch that... In the province where I grew up, like, 80 is an A. And everyone goes, well, doesn't everybody have 4.0s? And I go, well, we don't use GPAs where I grew up because it's stupid. You just get a numeric uh, average, and then as a result, you're just competing on the strength of your numeric average instead of a GPA, like a... I don't even understand the concept of a GPA versus... It's an Acropolis one. Versus um, just having a number that tells you what percentage you got in the class. But uh, admittedly, I'm not, like, I don't work for the school board, so I might be the fool in this situation, but... Yeah, yeah, in Canada, most places at least, uh, a 50 is a pass, and an 80 is an A-. minus. I know, you're, you're like jealous, but it still doesn't make sense, because when you compete for, like, spots in college, you gotta... You still gotta, you know, beat out other people. You want you want to know some weirdness though? Um, I have taken some classes. Ooh. I'm gonna do this because I want to keep the fool card. We're we're ready to uh, cheese boss rush here. Um, I have taken some classes in programming where a 50 is a pass, but you need a 60 to take the next class in the track. So it's basically like, hey, uh, you know, if you get a, a between a 50 and a 60, we'll give you the credit, but you also have to drop out of your program. <laughs> Luckily, I, I haven't come too close to, to skirting that metric, uh, because I'm an adult, and you know, what am I supposed to say? It's not like I'm going to parties here. I record video games, and then I go to class, and then I come home and record video games. Easy enough. Don't try me, Buster. It is wild. Uh, I mean, I'm not a full-time student, but, you know, going to... Going to college as a 28-year-old, very different than going to college as a uh, as an 18-year-old. I was actually 17 in my freshman year of college for the first, like, three months. And every time I tell people that, they go, why are you lying? No, it's not, you can do the math yourself, but I turned 18, like, three months into college. I think you know my, my birthday better than I know myself here. It's not that long ago. My memory hasn't faded that much. Sometimes I talk to my classmates, so like, what'd you do this weekend? They're like, oh, dude, it was sick, you know? We were up at the Roxy. It's a towny bar in Vancouver that's, you know, a little sketchy, but I guess for the youths, a good place to go. And they're like, what'd you do this weekend? I was like, oh, dude, it was sick. Me and my wife went out for dinner. <laughs> I had two beers. And a chicken sandwich with a side salad. It was freaking crazy, man. But I don't miss the, uh, I don't miss the, the earlier days. I like the, the more domesticated life. It's not like I was ever living like, you know, a rock star or anything like that, obviously. But I, uh, I was looking to see if maybe we could find a way to get more spirit hearts out of this, because apparently, like, the other challenge of this run is that HP just doesn't exist. But I like the more domestic life, man. It sounds like I'm I'm like searching for something to justify it, but I don't really need to justify it. I like the uh, I like the routine. We don't want a Yera. Okay, Awas is irrelevant here. Um, Onsus is nice, and we actually see that there's a library which is worth going back for. Yera, Perthro. Um, we should there, there's two Perthros because of the Yera rune we used with Blank rune. So here's how we do this: we take Perthro. And we go to our library. We still got a, not plenty of time, but a decent amount of time. Bad trip. Not good enough. Uh, we go to the library. We hope that there's like Satanic Bible and Book of Revelations. Well, 
Book of Revelations is uh, kind of good enough. We done, we done it. <laughs> no, we don't quite get Bookworm there. So we take Friendly Ball back. Per throw again. We get Book of Sin, which should give us Bookworm. Gave us a red heart, unfortunately. And uh, now we work our way towards this boss fight. I'm still hopeful. Here's the, how the next step of this should go. We get the Fool card. We teleport out of Boss Rush. After teleporting out of Boss Rush, having taken an item, we go back and get... Well, actually, now I think about it, the Yara Rune is not that valuable because this run cannot go to the chest. That being said, it, it, it's still valuable because you can get, you know, like a second or a third and fourth spirit heart out of it. But uh, not quite as valuable as it is on uh, on your average kind of normal run. I still think school should work backwards. Well, sort of. I think you should you should have kindergarten and then college. Six-year-olds have nothing better to do than learn all the time. I'm not saying like kids shouldn't be kids. Quite the opposite. I'm, I'm just saying like, you know, what what else does a six-year-old have to do? Play with Lego? Oh, well, it's good for their brain. No, you know what's good for their brain? Learning like quantum mechanics at that age, and then. When you're 25, you learn long division. It's the way it should be. It gets school gets easier as time goes on. So do we want adrenaline? Takes us closer to uh I mean Explosivo is pretty good here as well. Or do we want dog tooth, which is also solid? I mean there's four okay items here. I think I'm gonna go Explosivo. And the reason in the end ends up being that our damage is not that good. By the way, as always. I am... Oh, right, I have Brimstone. I don't need Explosivo. That was actually very stupid. Um, but I forgot that I had just picked up Brimstone mere seconds ago. Which is actually worse, because it should have been fresh in my mind. Um, but, as always, I am stupid. However, I'm smart in that I know that I'm stupid. Which I think sets me apart. At least in, in some way. No. Um... So, I, I recognize that this backward school idea, probably pretty dumb. Can't say for certain. We might as well take Mom's purse, I guess. Can't say for certain, uh, but it, it, it strikes me as a pretty foolhardy idea. But, it, it, like many of my ideas, if you never offer up like any form of scrutiny for it, it actually sounds pretty sick, right? I think credit card could beat Yara here. Okay, Utero 1. What's our what's our end game? What's our side game? Well, I mean the end game is pretty simple. As with most of these challenges, we're pretty much just gearing up for survival. I love that as soon as we kill the enemies, the angel fetus start shooting at us. It's like he recognizes we've got to unite to face a common foe, but as soon as there's no other aggro on the screen, he's like, I hate you. Uh, I just want you to know nothing has changed between us. Feels kind of like against the spirit of uh, the run to change spacebar items. I tried to move, but screwed myself. No, 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 no. Just get dusted, please. And then we get this, which means we might have been better off taking the arrow rune, but we got through a floor basically free of charge, so... We are eager for a deal with the devil. How does one cement a deal with the devil into existence? Well, um, beat this boss without dying probably does the best thing for us. Ooh. The Gaz also good. That might have been enough to like cement the victory for us. Sorry, I haven't been using a uh, monster ball as much as I should probably. Uh, excuse me. Is this allowed? Uh oh. Uh, okay. So I definitely like should not have done this room. Nine lives is the ultimate life-saving item. Uh, 
I love that you can either get a ghost that shoots brimstone lasers as your uh, friendly ball option, or you can get a single corn fly that flies harmlessly into the enemy and explodes into a, a wisp of arthropod guts in about a quarter of a second. Anyway, the, uh, the nine lives pickup might have been the bailout that we needed. Thanks, Lee Iacocca. Uh, we only have one guppy item, so the cursed room is essentially, a uh, a room non grata right now. Which I don't think is the way that that expression works, but... The only Latin I'm familiar with is, uh, Lou Baga's musical Ovra, so... Great name for a Twitch channel. Please? I need these friends of mine to help me destroy you. Stop destroying them in turn. We will not be fighting Hush. We will be becoming Guppy right here, guaranteed, despite the impossibility of it. And if, it just it goes to show you, dude, it's the same thing that always happens. When I have credit card, it's not plausible to use it correctly. When I don't have credit card, it's like, hey, here's four too hard deal with the devils. I don't like you, because you just kind of stick around. As wait, especially you. You've got to be, like, in the running for worst... I mean, he's gone now, but... Like, the worst possible payout from Friendly Ball, right? Literally, all you do is stand still. And if an enemy touches you, they take damage, but you will also die. It's like you're a mine. Sorry, it's like, I'm a mine. Wow, you know what? Great shot. I can't, you know, what can I say? You did a good job there. So again, nine lives basically uh, bailed us out. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll probably try a different direction because uh, my indignity knows no bounds here. We should still be highly, you know, very extremely fine. But we should, you know, dial in. To, to put it in Battlegrounds terms, it's time to dial in. Uh, one of the ways we might want to just get through this room is to... Throw a bomb down. Oh, that was extremely close. And then... Just don't die on this room. And you're free. Similarly, like... I, by the way, apparently this is the only enemy that exists uh, in... This challenge is uh, these stupid ghost flies, so... Or go not really flies, they're just really ghosts. They do fly, but so do most ghosts. Un untethered from, you know, this mortal coil, uh, it turns out that everybody can do David Blaine's teleportation trick. You guys ever realize that David Blaine is basically Hugh Jackman from The Prestige? Dude, year 2000, David Blaine blew my mind. How? He pretended to... Uh, levitate six inches above the ground basically by optical illusion positioning his feet in a weird way and then raising himself up on his tiptoes uh, how did David Blaine blow my mind in 2016 and you're like it's 2017 no the backlog's not that big I promise you but um, you know the, his special I think came out in 2016 oh you know he stabs himself through the hand and throws up, like, live minnows into a bathtub. He's become, like... He's gone too far. He's been consumed. No! It was so unnecessary. Stop. Like, he's a mo he is Hugh Jackman from The Prestige, not, um, not Edward Norton from The Illus Illusionist, because that movie is, like, it's a little bit of a, I gotta be honest, uh, when they first came out, my interpretation was that The Illusionist was better respected than The Prestige, but I think that as Chris Nolan has made more films, The Prestige has, has definitely racked up, <laughs> shall I say, a certain level of prestige, boom, that's me, uh, ending this run before the punchline. Good challenge, though, dude. I'm glad we knocked it out. Prestige, great movie. You know what, though? 
the illusion is pretty good as well. We got two more challenges to do. One of them is Pong, uh, or Pong 2. La da dee 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 do Pong 2. It's not Pong 2. Uh, it's just Pong. Pong's not that bad. Ultra Hard is pretty tough, so. We'll be back to do Ultra Hard on our next challenge. For now, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the episode, if you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.